drought conditions in the basin have slightly expanded both in area and in severity. So areas that did not have any uh, drought condition two weeks ago have now entered the very initial stage of abnormally dry, uh, and some areas that were abnormally dry have entered into a more severe uh, drought condition. The rain we've received thus far this spring hasn't been enough to stop that exacerbation of, of drought conditions. The entire BRA system is still in the stage one drought watch, and all of our reservoirs individually are also in a stage one drought watch with the exception of Lake Proctor, which is in stage three. We hope that the rain forecasted um, that we may receive over the next uh, 24 to 48 hours and even over the next you know, one to two to three weeks will help to improve drought conditions in the basin. Uh, but for the moment, um, the, the system itself has remained in a stage one drought watch for quite some time. As we get into the summer months where it heats up and evaporation rates increase significantly, it is important that we receive enough rainfall in the spring to improve our reservoir conditions enough to where they can withstand that. Now, that being said, our system is operating as, it, as it's intended. Um, and although we haven't really improved this spring so far, we're still at 75% storage. So uh, we are all hopeful that as the short-term climate pattern shifts, you know, we moved out of La Nina into a neutral condition, and as we move into hopefully an El Nino condition uh, as we go through the summer, that that will bring along some additional rainfall to help compensate for those warmer, drier summer months that, that can increase evaporation rates and, and reduce reservoir storage. We actually have above normal precipitation uh, forecasted over, over the next two weeks, and even beyond that over the next you know, three to four weeks. Uh, good water conservation habits will help attenuate the inevitable impacts of the drier summer months that, that we're going to experience like we do every year. Water conservation, while it's always to be encouraged, even now it's especially important because we are still in a drought and we are starting to notice drought conditions increase in severity. The BRA water supply system is currently in good shape and we're prepared for a variety of outcomes associated with how unpredictable weather can be in Texas. So if we do get rainfall we have storage capacity in our reservoirs to accommodate that rainfall and certainly that's what we're that's what we're hoping for but even if we don't get the rainfall that we hope for our water supply system is designed to withstand these types of drought conditions and continue to supply the water uh, that water users throughout the world.